Hello, Steve Mills here, and uh, welcome to my podcast uh, called Results. It's great to be back sharing with you some more tried, tested, and proven ways in which you can grow your business. Now, today I was talking to uh, Lee Gilbert. Lee and I have been working together. Lee works for me. Uh, He's our techie guy, uh, but that's actually underselling him quite a bit. Um, He's a a marketer uh, with... um, Really, he's the he's the go to guy when I uh, reach my limit from a technical techie point of view. But he's he's certainly much more than just a you know a web developer or a um, uh, you know a, a techie person. He's he's got very strong uh, marketing knowledge as well. And um, uh, today we got talking about websites, and we're looking at our website, and thought now would be a great time to go and take a look and decide what we needed to do um, on our website in order to improve it in some way. And uh, and by the way, that's certainly something that uh, you should be thinking about doing right now. You know, we're, as I'm recording this, we're, um, it's on the 1st of May. It's actually our 25-year celebration. We've been in business 25 years today, which is, uh, I think, a real milestone. But anyway... Um, yeah, so we decided to look at our website and what I'm saying to you is it might be a really good time for you to do exactly say, the same. What is there right now that you could do uh, with your website in order to improve it in some way? And, uh, and by the way, if you need any help with that, um, you know, give, give me a shout. Uh, we can uh, we can definitely help, uh, whether that's a new website or just improving the words on the site. Uh, or developing some landing pages and so on and so forth. So let me know if you want any help with that. Uh, so where was I? Oh, yeah, I was talking about the three different types of web pages. So uh, Lee and I were discussing this, and I thought I'd use that as a subject for uh, this particular podcast. So basically, there are three different types of web pages that you need. The first one I'm going to call awareness pages. So an awareness page is a page that is used to make people aware of your skills and your knowledge. So it it could very easily be a blog page or a news uh, page, something like that, but it it might be an actual page on your website. So let me give you an example. Let's say that I was a landscape gardener. I do landscape gardening. I've got a landscape gardening website and on there is um, all my, what I'd call my sales pages, telling people about the service I offer and what I do. And, And one of the pages is an awareness page. And on that page, I've got something like, perhaps I've got a, a you need to do in order to, um, uh, let's say, grow roses, okay? So I don't know much about landscape gardening, so uh, forgive me uh, if if I mess this up, but, you know, it's got an instructional video all about how to grow roses, the type of soil you need, the fertilizer you should use, uh, when you should be pruning your roses, and so on and so forth. And um, there's a video on there and there's some words on there. There's not necessarily a a call to action on there. In other words, a a sales thing. It's just about creating awareness. The next type of page we call a consideration page. A consideration page is is more of a sales page. You know, it's where you're, you're marketing a product or a service and, you know, on that page, you you know, again, you're probably going to have a video, you're going to have a really powerful headline, uh, some really good text, perhaps some bullets, some bullet points highlighting the benefits of, of your service and so on and so forth. And you're probably going to have a lot more information. You know, this is going to be long text. Um, you know, you might have some customer testimonials, some written testimonials. You might even have some video-based testimonials from clients. And and you're going to give people enough information uh, that they can at least, 
make an inquiry, if not, uh, you know, make a sale. You're definitely going to have a call to action. So that could be, um, you know, to download some information or put your details in here to apply now, to buy now, to arrange a meeting. And and that would definitely have a, a call to action there. The third page is what we call an action page. An action page is where you're going to drive people to in order to do something. So, for example, on an awareness page, you might say, if you want to know more, go here. So that could be your things like, I don't know, perhaps your sign up page, you know, you your, um, you know, apply page, uh, apply to join something or something like that. Uh, for me, um, it could be my webinar page. You know, if you want to sign up for the webinar, then go here. Uh, or perhaps it's, you know, you want to um, uh, download a copy of my results report. If you want to do that, go here. And that's that's a much simpler website. They've already decided, you know, they've they've clicked on a link because they want to go to my webinar. So why give them, you know, a massive text to read? They don't want to read that. It's almost like, you know, you're still trying to convince them where they've gone to a page, where they've gone to take action. You know, I'm going to sign up to the webinar. All I want is a button to click and go and sign up for it. So, um, you know, that's what you've got to give them, really. So uh, so on that page, you're going to keep it short. You're going to have a really good headline again. You might have a, a relevant picture. You might have a video, um, but you probably have some sort of picture. And then maybe a sentence or two and uh, maybe four or five or six bullets and then the call to action and uh, probably a, a box, a button where uh, you're going to get people to take action. So that's it. That's all I wanted to say. I hope that's of value to you. And um, I look forward to speaking to you again on my next podcast. So thank you ever so much for listening. If you want to know more from me, uh, if you've not yet signed up to my podcast, then go and sign up so you get them. Every time I do a new podcast, you'll be made aware of that. Uh, go to my YouTube uh, channel. There's loads and loads of uh, stuff on there. Just go to YouTube and type in uh, Steve Mills uh, marketing, probably the best because there's, there's lots of Steve Mills in the world. And uh, if you want to meet up, then uh, go to my website, uh, which is stevemills.co. And you can also find details of my webinars on there. So uh, thanks very much and speak soon.